We live in a world where we can travel practically anywhere we want, but there are places that are off limits to the general public, full of mysterious activity and human curiosity. Join me, along with my good friend Creepy Raven, as we talk about six of the most forbidden places on Earth. There is an odd set of buildings located in England's North Yorkshire County. Raf Menwith Hill is a communications interception and missile warning site and has been described as the largest electronic monitoring station in the world. The most distinctive features of the compound are the series of white spheres called ray domes. It was built to supply intelligence support to the United Kingdom and its allies. Intelligence support is a media-friendly way of describing information, interception, and analysis. According to David Webb, head of the Yorkshire CND, Manwith Hill is run by the National Security Agency making it essentially a U.S. spy base on British soil. This facility is extremely off-limits to the general public. Many people believe that Men with Hill is keeping sinister secrets from the masses and that it has a secret agenda it plans to fulfill in the near future. There is nothing ordinary in the town of Dulce, New Mexico, but underground is a whole different story. Dulce Base is said to be an underground facility in the Colorado, New Mexico border near the town of Dulce, New Mexico. Claims of alien activity there first arose from Albuquerque businessman Paul Benowitz. Starting in 1979, Benowitz became convinced he was intercepting electronic communications from alien spacecraft and installations outside of Albuquerque. By the 1980s, he believed he had discovered an underground base near Dulce. The story spread rapidly within the UFO community, and by 1990, UFOologist John Lear claimed he had independent evidence of the base's existence. There are a lot of theories about what goes on under there, but many believe it's a seven-story underground complex housing human and animal hybrids, human-alien hybrids, and technology centuries beyond what the average person has access to. In a world where technology seems to evolve faster than man, we often assume there are no people left isolated without any contact to the modern world. But the Sentinelese people who inhabit the island of North Sentinel are living proof to the contrary. They reject all type of communication with outsiders and protect their land violently when anybody wants to establish contact. Their population is estimated to be somewhere between 50 and 400. The Sentinelese have lived in isolation on the island for 600,000 years resisting attempts by authorities and anthropologists to study their culture and integrate them into the modern world. On January 26, 2006, two fishermen who were fishing near their island wandered too close to their shores and were brutally murdered. So protective are the sentinels of their territory that an Indian Coast Guard helicopter that attempted to retrieve the fishermen's bodies was greeted by a swarm of arrows. On Christmas 2004, the island was hit by a tsunami one of the strongest in recorded history. It was thought that they had been badly affected by the tsunami, but it was soon revealed that the Sentinels had moved to higher ground before disaster struck, almost as if they knew the giant tidal wave was coming. As of now, the Sentinelese people are being left to the isolation they have so vigorously defended. <laughs>